YouTube, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. And it is yet another episode of the weekly kickback. Yes, that is what I've decided to call it. Thank you guys so much for all the feedback on last week's video. It seems like you guys really enjoyed that type of video. And the consensus from you guys is that the name should be the weekly kickback. So that's what I'm gonna keep it as. Kickback definitely sounds a lot more chill than kickoff. So yeah, I do like the name. A lot of stuff to get into in the world of sneakers. So as always, what I'm gonna do in these types of videos is I'll first recap the previous week. We'll then talk about some big news that has dropped over the last week and then finally we'll get into the upcoming sneakers in the following week so let's talk about it last week we saw the release of the bodega new balance on july the first at least here in europe it released on the new balance website the new balance website has recently implemented this queue system and it's honestly quite difficult to cop anything anymore on that website i had many different tabs open trying to get past this queue luckily one of my tabs i was like 800 or 900 in line i got in i saw my size quickly added to cart and i was able to cop my size so the review for that pair will be coming in the upcoming week very hyped to receive that pair in my opinion probably the nicest and most wearable 990 v3 that has released this year also some more new balance news some stores received the protection pack of the 2002 r these sneakers have been getting really, really hyped up, especially by some of the archive pages like Hidden New York. We've seen a lot of pictures of these shoes, especially that gray pair. When I first saw pictures of this pack, I thought, you know what, it's pretty interesting, but the more and more pictures I see, especially of that gray pair, I'm starting to think like, you know what, these kind of look like some homeless man shoes. Maybe I need to see these in hand. I did actually order that white pair, which I think is actually the cleanest of that entire pack. So I will be reviewing that probably later this week. So I do kind of want to see these in hand. Maybe if I get that gray pair too, it's yet to release on the New Balance website officially. So hopefully when it does that, I'll be able to cop the gray pair as well. Also, we saw a shock drop of this sneaker right here, the Converse Off-White. That was a shock drop on the sneakers app, but only in North America. A lot of people hit me up that they were able to cop this pair. It looks like they're trying to mass release the shoe once again. A couple of weeks ago, this sneaker actually re-released on the Off-White website here in Europe. That's how I was able to cop this pair. I actually already did a review of this like a couple of years ago when they first released. So maybe I'll leave a link to it up here so if you guys can watch that. Also, maybe the best release of the week on July the 3rd, the Jordan 4 in the white Oreo released. A bit of a strange release because in North America, a lot of stores seem to have got them. However, in Europe, it seems like very, very few stores got them. They are delayed at some of the biggest stores like Offspring, Soulbox. This is just a really nice looking pair of fours. And from what I've heard, the quality on these is almost as good as the metallics that dropped last year. So I'm really hoping to grab a pair to review. Hopefully more stores will get them and I'll be able to cop these. I actually completely slept in through the release. So I just completely missed the sneakers release. I missed the first come first serve releases of all the stores. I literally slept through the release. So huge L for me. Let me know down in the comments who was able to cop the white Oreos. Also a very hyped pair of Dunks dropped on July the 3rd, the Nike SB Dunk High Magnus Walker and Eyeshot Wear. This sneaker, the colorway was inspired by uh, one of Magnus Walker's favorite cars, which is the Porsche 911. This was a 1971 Porsche 911 that he based this collab off of. I didn't actually expect this collab to be so hyped, but if you look at these resale prices right now, they're through the roof, especially for a Dunk High right now. These are some very, very high prices. I took an L on these. I take L's on pretty much every single SB release. I don't even try anymore for SBs. That's pretty much it for the recap of last week. Let me know down in the comments what you guys were able to cop and what was your favorite release of the week. Let's get into some sneaker news though. Starting off with, we have finally seen some official pictures of the Strawberry Cough Nike SB Dunk High. We've been seeing pictures of this shoe for over a year. This sneaker was supposed to release 420 of last year. It never did release. We thought this sneaker would be a myth. We might never see a release. But now that we've seen official pictures, look for a release to come very, very shortly, most likely in the month of July. This is an amazing pair of shoes. When it comes to SBs, the best part about Nike SBs is how crazy they go with the different themes and the different inspirations of these sneakers. This sneaker really does look like a strawberry. You can expect the resale prices of this sneaker to be absolutely ridiculous. 
But speaking of dunks, the sneaker news that I was most excited for this week was this pack, this four pack of dunks that are centered around the Japan Olympics, the Summer Olympics this year. The one I am excited about the most by far are these FTC SB Dunk Lows. Look at this colorway, look at these materials, this sneaker, this is a dunk of the year candidate right here. The inspiration behind the sneaker actually comes from Japanese bathhouses. If you've been to Japan, you probably know these are called onsens. Funny story, I was in Japan a couple years ago, I tried to go to an onsen. They basically wouldn't let me in because I have tattoos and I didn't know it was a rule that if you have any kind of tattoo, you're not allowed to go into a Japanese bathhouse. So I wasn't able to actually go to a bathhouse, so I'm hoping to at least cop these dunks. This is one of those few pairs that I would actually consider even paying resale for. It's a really, really nice looking pair of shoes. A couple of the dunk highs that are going to be releasing around the same time are these SB dunk highs that are inspired by the anime series Gundam. And then there is this zebra looking pair that is apparently inspired by some Japanese fast food that also kind of looks like a zebra. I don't know much about that. But the Olympics are supposed to be starting very soon, so look for these sneakers to also drop at some point this month. Also some Adidas news to talk about. Pictures of a upcoming Bad Bunny collab with Adidas have once again leaked. This is a ZX8000 model. And we've seen a very successful partnership so far between Bad Bunny and Adidas on a few other models. This one seems to be easily the craziest looking of them all. This pair apparently takes its inspiration from ice cream. You can see the kind of melting ice cream look on the shoe. Definitely not something that is easy to wear. I don't know if I would want to cop this just to wear. If you are a Bad Bunny fan, then sure, this is a great shoe to cop, put on the wall. No official word on when these might officially release, but it looks like this Bad Bunny and Adidas partnership is not ending anytime soon. Some more Adidas news to talk about, releasing on July the 9th. Ninth, we will be seeing yet another nice kicks and adidas collab this time on maybe their most popular model the ultra boost i'm sure you guys recognize the pattern on the sneaker it was the exact same pattern on the first ever nice kicks collab that was on the nmds remember when nmds were going for over a thousand dollars this was one of those pairs so adidas seems to be you know trying to get that hype back on the ultra boost by taking a super popular colorway of the nmds i think they look super hard for everyone out there who missed out on that nmd pair you're definitely going to want to get your hands on these july the 9th is the expected release date also pictures have leaked of a john paul goatee air collab with sakai we only have this one picture right now and it seems like it is some kind of vapor waffle we don't know what the second shoe is that is part of this collab it seems like there's a waffle underneath and on the top it kind of looks like those nike footscapes you can see that kind of weave pattern on the shoe these look super hard in my opinion. You guys know how much I love the Vapor Waffles. I wear my black pair all the time. Also pretty interesting to see a John Paul Gautier collab with Nike, not two brands that I thought would ever collab. So this is definitely something I'm excited to cop and review. Also a picture is leaked of a potential flax colorway of the Supreme Nike Air Force One Lowe's. We know how popular the Air Force One white and black have been and they have been restocking quite a lot. The Flax Air Force One is perhaps one of the most popular fall colorways of the Air Force One. So expect this pair to release also in the fall. Over the last few years, there's really been a lot of Nike and Supreme collabs. Back in the day, there used to be maybe one Nike Supreme collab a year, and now we're getting one every single season. Besides those dunks that recently released, a lot of the Nike and Supreme uh, shoes that released have not really been that hype. They've not generated a lot of buzz. The resale prices are pretty low, and sometimes going for below retail. So I think there's just been way too many collabs between the two brands, and in my opinion, it's kind of hurting both brands right now. Let's get into what's happening this week. Now, there's no official news about this, but there's a potential that we might see the off-white University Gold Air Force One's ICA drop this week. The reason that I say we might is because this is the week where Virgil is actually doing his official exhibition over at the ICA Museum in Boston. If you guys remember what happened with the MCAs, we had the exhibition and then in the same week, the MCAs released on the Off-White website. We don't know if that will happen again, but if history is any indication, we might see the University Goals also drop shock drop this week on the Off-White website. Sick pair of sneakers, grail status type of Off-White sneakers, so I'm hoping to cop these and review them. Also some Yeezy news, on July the 5th, we might see the Yeezy 700 MNVN in this blue tint colorway. The hype on this model has really died, in fact, the most recently released bright cyan didn't even sell out 
And I can totally see why. I love the 700s, but for me, the MNVNs are easily the worst pair of 700s because of the material, the upper. The upper is just so wrinkly looking and it looks wrinkly even when you have them on feet. And I just think there's definitely better 700s out there. Also the United States on July the 8th, you will be seeing the release of the Nike Dunk Low in the laser orange colorway. This is a woman's pair, one of the nicest, nicest colorways of the Dunk Low to release this year. If you missed out on the Syracuse last year, you probably want these. This is a very similar alternative. Of course, the quality is not gonna be the same, but at least from a colorway point of view, it's a pretty nice summertime type of shoe. Also on July the 10th, some Jordan news, we will be seeing the Jordan 3 drop in this laser blue colorway. If you are a fan of the three, you probably want this very, very clean pair of threes. I feel like threes have become a little bit more popular this year ever since the Amma Maniers dropped. Don't know if these will sell out. I know in Europe it won't, but in the States, they probably will. And of course, I already mentioned these, the Nice Kick Adidas Ultra Boost will be releasing on July the 9th. That's pretty much all the sneaker news for this week on the Weekly Kickback. I'm pretty excited about this week for some non-sneaker related stuff. We got the Euro Cup, it's in the finals. We got four teams left. I'm hoping Italy can pull it off, Forza Zuri. And we got ourselves an NBA Finals, the Suns and the Bucks. Let me know down in the comments, give me your predictions, Suns or Bucks. I got the Suns in six. Also, just one more thing, next week there won't be an episode of the Weekly Kickback because I won't be in town. I will actually be in Rome, Italy for the weekend. Very excited to be a tourist again after what feels like a really long time. All my Italian audience out there, let me know down in the comments some good places to hit up. A lot of you guys have actually asked me why did I decide to leave Canada and move to Europe? Well, because you can do things like this. You can literally travel to a new country every single weekend and the cost of the plane tickets are cheaper than a tank of gas over in the US or Canada. Traveling is probably my favorite thing in the world to do, so that is why I am not leaving anytime soon. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for messing with the channel and for watching this video. I recognize that those of you who watch the series are definitely my number one fans. So I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. Peace.